Okay, so today we're taking a look at the card capture game on the Sega Dreamcast, which is uh, Tomio's Video War, which was released in around about 2000 and sort of uh, follows some of the uh, some of the stories from the anime, which was uh, on Japanese television, and not so long ago came on to uh, sort of Western networks. Okay, so um, this is the uh, main menu, and uh, you've got a couple of options, including the first, the first one, which is the main game. And we'll start off from the very beginning. If uh, you're not familiar with the uh, cartoon series, I think uh, you'll probably have a lot of trouble with this game. Um, it is made for fans and people who have watched the series. Uh, you get to play some scenarios that occur in the cartoon, but they're not in order, and uh, they're not sort of progressive in the, oh my goodness, this has happened, and oh my goodness, that has happened. It's just like, oh, this happens, and then that happens, and it's just like you get to be Tomio, the character with the video camera, in the anime, and you follow Sakura around, and uh, yeah, so it's not really... Uh, a cohesive storyline, but, you know, it's a cool idea. Okay, so this is uh, the uh, cloud card um, Windy, or, no, not Windy, Flying. Okay, so we'll take a look at the game. Now you control Tomio's video camera uh, by using the, um, there we go, by using the right and left triggers. Uh, and she'll basically shout out, I want, you know, a front shot or a back shot or a side shot or low shot. And uh, you've got to get there in time and take a photo. Which doesn't make much sense really because you're using a video camera. But you get the general idea. There we go. Excellent. And uh, that's Kiro flying next to uh, Card Captain Sakura. And uh, yeah, that's about it. That's pretty much all you do in the game. And uh, it gets a little more complex and a little more tricky. This is the uh, this is the first level, um, but really you're not really doing very much. I was a bit disappointed. I thought you'd be you'd be doing more than this. But uh, if you're a fan. Yeah, you'll enjoy it. It's, it's alright. Of course, finding a copy of the game uh, is another another thing entirely. Okay, so we continue with the story. And uh, I think that she wants side shot. There we go. And once you've taken the photo, you can just sort of enjoy uh, whatever's happening on screen. Personally, I think that if they just put the um, original anime uh, shots in here rather than this. 3D stuff, it would have looked a whole lot nicer. It's a little bit ugly. Um, yeah, the anime was just so, so well done by Clamp Studio, and they've sort of thrown this uh, pretty shabby 3D animation in here. It, it's not really up to scratch. This is definitely the most fun bit. Uh, Kiro Barros, one of the characters, uh, will rate the uh, pictures that you took on Tomio's camera, and that makes for a bit of entertainment. So he'll go through the photos and tell you what was good, what was bad, and uh, yeah, so he'll say side shot, and sort of goes along with uh, the anime if you've ever watched it, how he'll comment on what Sakura's done or what Sakura hasn't done, and so on. So I've been um, grizzling about this game quite a lot, 
but uh, the the bit where it redeems itself is with all the little extras, which I think fans will really enjoy. Uh, the the best bit being Kiro's little um, Tetris game. Okay, so here it is. As we all know, uh, Kiro is a big fan of all things uh, sweet and salty, so it's basically a game based on uh, getting on with uh, finding what you can eat through Tetris. So let's go for it. The, uh, the AI uh, gets stronger throughout the game. Uh, it's not exactly a pushover. Uh, they probably copied the uh, AI from somewhere, I don't know, but um, overall it's, it's fairly enjoyable. This is just like the anime, where at the end uh, Kiro would sort of give you a roundup of what's happened and what's happening in the next episode, so fans will probably enjoy that. And just a word of warning guys, at the start of the game, when you put it in for the first time, uh, Tomio, this character here, uh, will uh, <laughs> try and change uh, all the file settings on your VMU. So take out your VMU if it isn't a brand new one. Uh, and she'll do awful things to it, like put a picture on the front of your controller so you're reminded all the time that you played card captors. And as you can hear, she's rather upset that I've taken out my VMU. <laughs> 